segment of News on 6, sponsored by ABEST Air and Heat. From understanding IRAs to help with taxes for yourself and for your business, it can be tricky to navigate our finances. That's why on Mondays we bring in our financial expert Paul Hood from Hood CPAs to break it all down and teach us how to be a little smarter with our money. Uh, we had three great questions come let's in go. this week yeah. for you. Super, um, let's go. Yeah, we'll get started with Ed. Okay. Ed writes in saying, uh, with the onset of the pandemic, does a Social Security recipient have to file a tax return on income earned beyond their Social Security yearly max? So, uh, Ed, that's a, a kind of a, a loaded question. It has two th different things. First off, there is no yearly max unless you draw Social Security early. And what that means is, is if you're taking Social Security early, you take a little discount. And if you have a job or a business that creates income that's subject to Social Security uh, taxes, which the IRS calls active income, uh, and you make more than, I think it's $14,000, you have to pay back a dollar for every $2 you earn over that limit. So if anybody's still working they sh and they're gonna make more than that, they should not draw Social Security early. So, but as far as a tax return, what matters is, is your, your Social Security is tax-free uh, unless as a single person you have income of about 25,000 or above, not counting the Social Security, then you have to start paying taxes on it. So you, you do need to file a tax return. Now, Social Security is never taxable in the state of Oklahoma. So it, it's, it depends on how much that other income is. Okay, our next question comes in from Carl. Carl says, I pulled money out of the, my Roth IRA to use for remodeling a house. Once I sell the house, I plan to put that money right back into my account. Is there a deadline to replace the money without paying taxes or paying a penalty? So yeah, you can, whether it's a Roth or a traditional IRA, you can pull money out of one of those accounts and uh, you have to put it back within 60 days. So it's considered a rollover. You can do that one time a year. If you get beyond the 60 days, then no, you can't replace that money. You can make a normal contribution to your Roth or your traditional IRA if you qualify and your income is at a certain level. But that, that number is 60 days. So if he pulls the money out and takes care of the remodel, sells the house, which in today's market, it's not unrealistic to <laughs> right. sell it real quick and puts it back within 60 days, you'll be okay. Okay, what are some other reasons that you would wanna do that? Well, the other reason is, is is maybe you don't have the cash to do a remodel, you know, and you can get more out of the house because yeah. most people, when they buy a house, they aside, don't have aside from to remodeling though, to, to pull from your IRA for sixty days, what's it, once a year? So yeah, again, if you're if you're going to buy a car, you're going to go on vacation, mm. you're going to go Christmas shopping, you're going to get a bonus after the first mm. year instead of putting it on a credit card, you pull it out of the Roth, do it, put it back okay. with your bonus. I remember that my next vacation. All right, yeah. uh, our last question goes to Jill. Uh, I'm thinking about hiring a 1099 worker at the start of. The the new year. What are the pros and cons when it comes to taxes on a 1099 worker? Well, people have to be real careful because they, they think there's an option as to whether somebody's a 1099 or a W-2. So a subcontractor or self-employed person versus an employee, and there's really not. Uh, so the first question you need to ask is, is do you control? Do you tell them what to do, when to do it, how to do it? They only work for you. They use your tools, and that's an employee. So the, the con of hiring a 1099 is you could get in trouble uh, pretty good if they're actually considered an employee. So if they get hurt, you don't have workers comp, if they if they you they don't work out and you fire them, they go file unemployment, you can kind of get in trouble. Okay, be careful with that. Yep. All right, if you have a financial question you'd like for us to talk about next Monday, uh, just like these folks, just send in your question. You can do it right now by email to moneymonday at griffin.news.